Hey everyone, welcome to How Chic. So today I'm going to talk about this Chanel bag and how it wears and tears because I've had it for a year and I'm gonna go through every little bit about this bag and how it's worn over the years. The first thing I'm gonna talk about is the caviar leather versus the lambskin. I have the caviar version. This is the small classic flap Chanel. I can actually say that wearing this caviar bag, it does have its cons as well as its pros. The texture of the caviar because it looks very different to the bottom of the flap. Now, I don't think that this is something to do with what I have done in terms of wearing this bag you can see that in the top flap the ingrained pebbled texture is a lot more deeper within whereas this bottom segment seems to be a little bit more shallow and the pattern of the caviar it seems to be like a little bit more rubbed away so this could be something to do with more quality control rather than looking at how this bag wears and tears but it's just something to keep in mind now in terms of how this leather wears i have these little flattening parts just like the bottom of this leather and i think that this was already there when i got the bag and we have the deeper grain right in the middle i do have a little scuff here because i probably accidentally just rubbed it off somewhere but it's only a very small mark and it's at the bottom of the bag so i'm not too bothered about that one so i'm not one of those who wear this bag and i'm very careless but i do baby this bag quite a bit but there are just some moments where it's just out of your control and you're just walking in the busy streets of london with this bag sometimes it just knocks into different places here and there so that's what can happen in terms of the corner wear I don't really have any scuffing on the sides so that's a pretty good sign that the caviar is holding up pretty well and on the back it's in pristine condition and it's just a beautiful finish so we do have these little stitches here and usually I think seen some pre-loved bags and they tend to have this little pop stitch or like problems with this. For this one I don't seem to have that. Another thing that I would look at is the straps and now the straps I have a little bit of a story with this because if you look at the straps with the beautiful interweave leather you have this folded piece of leather but I think this is a little bit of a quality control where the leather doesn't meet all the way to the other end and what it shows is that you have this kind of loose end and the glue that holds it together it seems to be fraying off a little bit so it's not really held down as nicely and it tends to attract a lot of dirt and dust so when i do have to look after this bag i do have to make sure that there's not too much dust or dirt going everywhere and you just have to be a bit more cautious about this bag. I do have a little tiny bit of scuffing on some of the straps, but that's pretty normal because this is the place where you handle the bag the most. There's one more little thing about the exterior and that is the hardware. And this was actually one thing that I didn't really like about how this bag is because when you open this turn lock and you try to close it with the scratches that can form. On the inside of the bag, we have the zipper and the zipper is primarily famous for holding Chanel's love letters but one thing that it does lead to is that this zipper can actually dent this little part here I think in terms of the way I protect and look after this bag it's pretty good and it doesn't really scuff too much but I have seen some other lambskin bags or just pre-loved bags in general where this really does scratch and dent but I do usually keep a felt cover on top just to prevent that from denting even further. But if you keep this zipper tucked in like that, then it shouldn't really dent the bag too much. On the back, I know I have said this before that this is a back pocket, but actually it's not really made to be a pocket and you shouldn't really put anything in the back because the back is only held by the two stitches that are present at the back. So one here and one here. And what I did notice that if you do use that pocket, if you open this second double flap, you can see the little stitch on the two sides because those are the only bits that hold that part together. 
they can tend to stretch and it can start to wear the leather a little bit. As soon as I started to see that happening, I just stopped using that back pocket straight away. That's one thing that is happening. And the only reason why this little slit exists is because if you do make this back opening a closed back, then there would be a stitch going all the way at the back and it just doesn't make the bag look nice. So that's why that this little back slit exists, but it's not made intentionally as a pocket. On the inside, I don't really stuff this bag too much. And I also have a little bag organizer in here. If you look at the leather inside, it's a beautiful pink color and it just matches the outside. And I have seen some newer quality bags where it kind of shows a little bit of bubbling. And I'm very glad that for mine, I don't have any of that showing. Everything inside is very clean just because I do use the insert. We also have the back pockets, which I do not use. And here we have the intention or lipstick pocket which I also don't really use but I just keep my authenticity card right there. One thing I want to mention on the wear and tear is this little part with the CC. It's a raised little puffy CC and if you can see it's a little bit crinkled and that's because it does bend over and that's what causes the crease. This is quite a common thing that can happen and I've seen some of them happen like this, but some of them, they don't really have it. It might just be a little bit of a hit or miss in terms of quality control. This little pocket at the front, I do use this, but I don't use it to fit anything bulky in there. Just use it for like little banknotes or just receipt, just because if you overstuff the bag, then it's just not very good for the leather to really wear it out and then it starts losing its shape. One other thing I wanna look at is this little flap here at the top. Commonly, I always see that this has this little dent at the bottom, but for mine, I don't really see that. I could only imagine that this little flap could possibly just rub against it, but I didn't really have that problem. That is my one year use of this bag and it's held up pretty well. If you want to check out more videos on Chanel, then please do check over here and I will see you there. Bye.